Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 11600 Southwest Welch Terrace here in Beaverton. We are located at the front of the home. We're about four feet in from the front left corner of the house to the left of the doorway, obviously, here. And if you ever lose track of your clean out, this furthest vent to the left here, it is smack dab straight out in the middle of it. And we're going into three inch ABS. Again, checking the overall condition and serviceability. We do have water currently running, and I'm going to zero out the foot counter here at the bottom of the clean out. Now, we just got done doing some cleaning work. Last time I was out here, we had a whole bunch, very about two, three inch thick debris buildup in the flow line out in the concrete pipe. So we just got run, done running the machine through. And we're going to advance out. We'll shut the water off here and reel back in and see how everything looks. And the line bells out immediately upon access, about one foot or so into the sewer line. It transitions over to what appears to be four inch ABS. And then we'll switch over to six inch concrete here in just a moment. teeny tiny belly there just a moment ago and I think another one here both of which will drain out to about a sixteenth of an inch or less of standing water somewhere in that ballpark which is nowhere even close to repair worthy I really don't start seeing much in the way of build up until there's an inch or more of water for ten feet or so even at that point a lot of it if, it, if there's build up is going to occur it, it's often items that should not be going down the sewer line and all the stuff we knocked loose from the line here when we were cleaning it out was by and large paper towels and huge balls of toilet paper which neither of those should go down your sewer line so we've reached the main here at 75 feet the line does terminate at the main out here on welch we've already located that we're going to let the whole line drain out here for a moment before reeling back in we'll have a much better view of everything at that point That line here is pretty much done draining out. one of the spots where we have a little bit of standing water and I mean it is a little bit it's a, less than a sixteenth of an inch you've got about a thirty second of an inch there which is not even report worthy you'd have to flush some outrageous things down the line to get to hang up in a sixteen or thirty seconds of an inch of standing water got a few eggshells here that we blended up which those will make their way out as you can do a couple toilet flushes got two bellies in the line it appears they're both about two three feet long and you're working with about a 30 second to a 16th of an inch of standing water and in the world of bellies that is about a zero to one out of ten on the severity scale very very minor as long as you're not dumping grease and stuff like that down the line stuff that should not be going down the sewer line those little bits of standing water there will not affect functionality in any way shape or form All right, the concrete pipe that looks good, it drains very nicely. That stuff, you see that white stuff there in the flow line is just pipe glue from when the line was installed. We're going to go ahead and reel the camera out of the sewer line. 
We have good flow all the way out to the main lateral connection. Both the concrete and ABS portions of the sewer line we have scoped here today all appear to be in good condition. Sewer line is functioning properly at this time. And this right here is what I mentioned earlier. Right here, it looks like the line changes diameter from three to four inch pipe.